Captain Marvel, starring Brie Larson, a digitally DH Samuel L. Jackson, Ben Mendelsohn, Jude Law, Annette Benning, Jimon Honso, Lee Pace, Gemma Chan, and Clark Gregg. The movie takes a break from the main MCU timeline and takes place in 1995. At the beginning of it, we meet Veers, played by Larson. Um, she's this powerful Kree warrior, member of an elite military team led by Jude Law's uh, Yonrog. <clears throat> she's unique among them because of a superpower she has. She can shoot out photon blasts from her arms, which are a very powerful weapon. After a mission which turns out to be a trap, she is caught by the Skrulls, a race of shape-shifting aliens, mortal enemies of the Kree, supposedly terrorists. They want to extract some information from her subconscious, which unlocks some of the memories she previously forgot or buried. She had an amnesia of sorts. And after a quick escape, Veers ends up on Earth, which looks suspiciously like the place from her memories, and so like a place she might actually come from. And so she teams up with Nick Fury to try and locate the scrolls and find out what's going on and who she actually is. Now, when the movie came out, it had a pretty mixed response. Some people loved it, some people didn't. I think it's somewhere in the middle of the pack. It's actually not bad as far as origin stories go, but it certainly has flaws as well. And after coming um, and coming after the likes of Infinity War, it's just not on the same level. The things that I did like include the performances. The narrative structure, which is fairly unusual for Marvel because we, we learn a lot of the stuff through flashbacks, so we go back and forth. It's kind of more jumbled, less linear than usual. Uh, I really enjoyed what they've done with the Skrulls and especially Talos. He's, uh, I mean, played by Man Mendelssohn. He's, he's an interesting character and, and the way they've sort of went with his storyline, uh, I found to be pretty surprising in a good way. I also think that the de-aging tech uh, looked fantastic on Samuel Jackson, although in his case it hasn't been used extensively. I remember seeing some behind the scenes photos and it, for him it's mostly just a bit of makeup plus hair and you're done. Uh, I also liked the running gag with Goose the cat, or rather Flurken. I think it was funny to see it lifted straight from the comics. Now, the things that I didn't enjoy as much, um, I think that the action sequences are just so-so. The main problem is Carol actually being almost invincible, which removes a lot of the emotional investment. I mean. If I know that the main character, the main protagonist, cannot get hurt, it's hard for me to be engaged. I also think that the movie lacks a strong emotional anchor in terms of um, a character. I mean, for Carol specifically, this is a re direct result of the plot. She is supposed to be this emotionless warrior who just very slowly begins to discover her humanity, which kind of explains why she's so, so cold. But even if it is when in line with the movie's plot, the result is still the same, and it's, that it's kind of hard to latch onto her and sympathize with her. And as, as for the other characters, they're kind of fine, but uh, most of them are not really fleshed out that much in comparison. I guess for me, the favorites would be the aforementioned Talos, who I think is the most well-written one, and maybe Maria Rambo as well. So it's not great, it's not terrible, it's just an okay Marvel film. I think there's definitely room for improvement if the writing team can figure out an interesting way to handle such a powerful character as Carol and give her some sort of convincing conflict to get through. We'll see how that goes in the upcoming sequel.